Hey guys, Great Dolphin 16 here, and welcome back to another video. So, in the last episode, we finished exploring this middle area right here and a couple of the outer um, roads of it. Today, we're going to explore some of the outskirts down here, and if we have enough time, we'll get up here. But let's go and get started. So, we're going to fly over to the four way intersection. It's one of, I think, three four-way intersections. We're going to go this way first. So, you guys are probably thinking, there's barely anything out here. It shouldn't take us that long to do it. But uh, we'll see. We'll see in a little bit. So, this is a quarry. So, I just, like, blew a thing all the way down to bedrock. and Well, not all the way down to bedrock, but down a good bit. And then there's a little crane up here and stuff. There's nothing actually here. It's just for kind of like decorations. And then there's a crane here. Uh, I don't know how I managed to build that, but I did. I'm not sure what was going through my mind. I still need to hook up a road to get up there though, like a little dirt pathway. But we'll do that. I'll do that on my own time. Then we got a little building out here. This building isn't that great. the o The only reason it's ten is because you're out here by yourself. You don't. You're not like in the middle of town and stuff and you're by yourself, and it's kind of got like a futuristic modern style to it. Uh, so, that's an apartment complex. Let's go and explore. And real quick, I actually want to show you guys this secret that not really anybody knows about. So that opens this up, and then you can go down here, and then... You can open this up, and you can watch the runners on the track, which we'll get to in a later episode. This thing isn't actually set up. Um, I'm, I'm going to change a lot of stuff with that if I ever can think about doing it and actually wanting to do it. But now, let's go ahead and head up. Oh, crap. Let's head up here and get, get started. So we got a room right here. We're just gonna run into the rooms. I'm not gonna really sit there forever. There are no prices on these rooms yet. I haven't had time to actually do that. That room right there is probably the best one so far, the one that we were just in. This room's also pretty good. This room is the best uh, room on the bottom floor, I would say. This room's also nice because it's got a double, it's got like two sets and then a balcony, which is something that not a lot of rooms have. And then in here we got just a flat block boxy room, I should say. Then we got our stealth, then we, uh, our self staircase. Brings us out to this balcony. And then we got this room. Let me out the door. Then we got this room. These rooms aren't great, but they're pretty decent still. They get the job done. And also, like, these are apartments slash housing, like houses. This is also a good room. The only problem with this is that there's a stone floor in that one area. Because I can't change it. I think I got all the, f um, the rooms on that other floor. If I didn't, then I'm sorry. But the best... Um, the best room in the entire uh, building is on this floor. We're about to get to it. That room that we were just in is completely outside. And right here is the best room. Well, that's nice. I, I like it. Just in case it's raining, you got the um, thing on the inside. Then if we go up here... We got a couple buildings up here. There's a little outhouse right here. There's a building right here. If you're wondering what the firework stars are, go check out the uh, last episode, and I'll and I talk about them near the end of the video. But here we go. I'll show you guys around this. Let's do a quick panoram pan panoramic around it. Sorry if I can't talk. I've been talking for like 25 minutes straight now. I've recorded all the episodes in one 
go and that's weird looking i don't i don't know why that's weird but let's go ahead and go into this area right here which is the zoo so you have to pay one slate per exhibit which i believe at the moment you have to pay 17 slates to get in and if you guys are thinking that's a lot it really isn't you can get that by fishing about 20 fish and 20 fish is 20 slates so yeah we got our panda we got these uh chickens got the wolves we got ocelots we got bunnies nothing over there we're gonna hop down here so down here is like the underground stuff like the mobs and stuff so we got bats spiders creepers cave spiders and then nothing else but there are gonna be more stuff it's just the zoo takes a little bit of time to actually do then we got donkeys i mean mules these are the donkeys those are the zombie horses those are the skeleton horses horses and uh, llama now let's go here so this one's gonna be a good part this is the amusement area the amusement park so you pay 20 slates to get in and i'm gonna quickly go over everything so you throw your stuff right there to get in so right here you have to shoot the button there's a villager that comes out of that dispenser and you push that button and it throws them into the uh into there right here you throw money and the farther you get it the better the reward you get the only rewards really at the moment are these but if you get it really really far if you get it into that last row you get a pick between a diamond and roller gold back here we got some uh, uh outhouses they're all the exact same just little bathroom areas right here is a little ticket area but i'm still working with that I'm going to go ahead and actually, no, I'm not going to ride these because I want you guys to experience them yourself. So we got the Ferris wheel. It's weird looking. Then we got that, which is a bungee jump kind of. Then we got this, which it just pun it like punches you back and forth. Then we got this, which you jump down. It's another bungee jump kind of, kind of thing. This building right here is the tallest building. It goes up to build limit. I'm not going to actually show it to you. Then if you come over here, we got this bridge. Actually, I, I really like this bridge. And then you got this roller coaster right here, and then you got this roller coaster, which is currently being worked on. And it's maybe only halfway done. So that area is done. And now we're going to go to a project that I recently finished a good bit on. Oh, by the way, in the last episode, I didn't show off this bridge right here. It takes the same style of the other bridge, but just a little bit different. We're going over there to that building. It's not finished, but it's kind of finished. So we got this bridge right here. I kind of don't like it, but I did this as an aqueduct style, but it turned out pretty bad, but I'm not going to get rid of it. Also right here, we got um, a beach, which you can walk over this bridge that's hooked up to the uh, dock. But if you go all the way across... We have a park right here. It's not really set up. There's, I'm going to make this area right here into a nice park. Then you go over here, and it goes down here, and then it's supposed to lead into this area, which I'm currently working on. Well, not currently, but I'm working on terraforming. And if you're wondering what this is, it's a sports stadium. So right here's the doors. It's not ready, but the inside, like where the concessions and stuff are, that's nowhere close to being done. But out here, I believe, is almost finished. Yep, right here. I just got to finish off the seats up here. So all these seats are done. I just got to do it right there. But right here is the stadium. So what this is, is it's a... Um, it's a... Bow and arrow... Like... Football slash soccer style thing. So what you do... Is you're supposed to shoot an arrow across the pitch and it's supposed to hit the ground in front of your teammate and then they pick it up and then they have to try to score on the goalkeeper the goalkeeper is trying to block the arrow from going into his net which it is quite easy you actually need to be really really close to block the air like they need to be like really really close to score because it's like near impossible to score from out there and if you hit the if you hit an opponent that isn't the goalkeeper 
then it's overturned. But also you can intercept the arrow by just grabbing it when it gets uh, shot into the air and stuff. Right here you get speed and jump boost. No, regeneration. Okay. Yeah, regeneration. Right here is where your subs sit. And then we'll go back to the locker rooms right now. I can't go that way because I don't want to get... I don't want to have to pull out milk or anything. So right here we got the rooms. So dressing rooms, you got your bows, you got a little clock that tells you when to come out. It's the same over here. And then you just walk that way. But this stadium is nice. It's not done, but has a big slate and port in front of it. That's his slate and port right there, but the textures are broken if I get a little bit closer. So yeah, the textures are broken for a lot of blocks. I was trying to set this up so that it could be a multi-sporting arena. You might have seen the command blocks down here. I kind of quit after a bit though. So basically what it was supposed to do was just change the blocks on the floor. But I couldn't get colored blocks, which was the problem. So yeah, we're done with this area. And we're going to end the episode here. In the next episode, I think, we are going to go down this road right here. And maybe head into these areas back here or maybe down here or something. But I'll see you guys later. Take care, peace out, and bye-bye.